Hey friends, it's Kitty and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an empties video. I've got a whole bag full of empties. It's exciting, it's empties time. And it's super exciting. I have so much stuff to go through. I actually meant to film this last time I saw them, but now I'm home for summer, so I'm here to stay for at least a while. And I'm gonna go through all this stuff, talk about my trash, tell you everything, give you my mini reviews, and yeah, I'm excited. So let's start with the top. So the first thing that I have in the top is the simple, my seller makeup cleansing wipes and which just look like this and actually flashback I think maybe a year or two ago I think I mentioned these in empty studio said how I didn't like them but I think I might have reformulated these and these are amazing they actually feel like a micellar water on your face which is amazing which I love and yeah they just they're really good for sensitive skin and I don't know if I have sensitive skin but definitely want to keep use like the most gentle products on my skin especially after being post acutane which you know those videos are coming up but yeah I really like these and some people say they don't really take off eye makeup well but I think they do they work so well it feels like water on your skin it just removes everything and they're great for on the go I use these in college like when you know I'm just you know trying to go through my day-to-day -day college life I like these better for when I'm there just because I don't really like using cleanse oils I like to use something that I can just take off my makeup real quick with and these work so well so I definitely will repurchase these actually have might have other ones in that bag so we'll see if I have any more but these are amazing Next thing I have in there is a body wash that I got for Christmas and this is the Philosophy Christmas cookie. It basically just smells like a Christmas-ness cookie, you know, just that vanilla-esque scent. So good. Like it smells so, so good. I love this. I think it's a great holiday scent. I used this up until March and I was like, if I still have this in April and May, I'm literally packing it away for a year because I can't use this in the spring. But I, you know, I used it and I anyway I kind of like these because you you can literally use them for like everything shampoo shower gel bubble bath literally everything I don't really shampoo with this but I do use the shower gel and like a bath bubble bath I do use it for that but yeah it just smells so good so vanilla and I do like philosophies like scents as well I've smelled them before but this might be my first one I've ever owned so that's exciting and it just smells so good so yeah I would repurchase next holiday season next thing I used up is one of my favorite like moisturizer type things and this is the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty so good i had the big tub of it i believe my mom got like these on sale like two two of them on sale and she like gave me half when it was half full one of hers i love this love this through actane this really just hydrated my skin when it was at its purchase say this is great for my skin like my actual arms legs just anywhere where i had eczema or dry skin that was great and also my face i would literally lather this on day and night i I love this it is just the best moisturizer I have like the two ounce like just in the bottle one and honestly I like those better than digging my fingers in here but I think if you're gonna be using this as much as I did and you want it to last a really long time definitely get the tub it is so worth it great for eczema dry skin just your purchased skin yes even like for normal skin and like oily skin I think this is a great night moisturizer but if you have dry skin you'll be lathering this on all the time so yeah love it so next I have a shampoo and conditioner duo I have the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. I've been using these for years. I kind of mix in between different Herbal Essence kind of shampoos, but I've been pretty hardcore of Herbal Essence recently, but I kind of go in and out with what I like to use and everything. But I really like this, and this is the shampoo I used in like when I was at school. Love this shampoo and conditioner. It's, it's basically my favorite. It really hydrates your hair. It just, it gives you all that hydration. I honestly don't really have a dry scalp or anything, but on Actane, I felt my hair was dry and then I don't really have oily hair at all so this was honestly just the best. It just felt so hydrating in my hair and it just made my hair feel great. I think it has like coconut in it and it smells like coconut. So hell yeah, I love this. And yes, I would repurchase. Love these, still have backups and I'm loving. Then I have another shampoo. I think I used this up a while ago, but I'm now finally talking about this. This is the Body MV from Herbal Essence. I honestly prefer the Hello Hydration, but this was nice and everything. It did give my hair like a little bit of volume, but personally I don't really love this. So I will probably not 
not repurchased or anything. I There was another one that they used to have that was hydrating and then also kind of like this. I forgot what it was called, but I loved it. Like years ago, it was like my ride or die shampoo. But this one, just uh, not feeling it. So yeah, I probably won't repurchase. So next I have some body washes from Bath & Body Works. The first one is Champagne Toast. This one, I forget what it smells like. Oh, it just smells like, honestly, it smells like, um, it smells like nectarine. Yes, sparkly nectarine, black curtain, kind board, sugared mask, and pink champagne. Yeah, it definitely has that fruity, but not like too fruity smell. So it's kind of like a fruity, but kind of sweet, but it has a tang to it. Kind of smell, I really like this smell. So I definitely would probably repurchase and everything. Just it's smelling good right now. And I'm pretty sure I loved it since I used it up. Honeysuckle, I know I love. This just has the perfect honeysuckle, honey, sweet smell. I love this. I kind of want more right now. Like, yes, this smells so good. Like, yes. It has water, honeydew, just honeysuckle, jasmine, orange flower, white woods. Oh my God, this smells so good. Yes, I, yes, I'm gonna repurchase. Next time I have a sale, I will be there because this smells so good. So next I have another hair product. This is the Bumble and Bubble BB Don't Blow It. I've probably used up several of these. I got a ton of these in Birchbox when I was still subscribed to them. Not anymore, but just saying I, when I was, I used up a ton of these. This is probably my favorite Bumble and Bumble like hair product. I think this is the best. I do air dry my hair a lot, so even if I use this even if I even if I'm not air drying my hair during the day I will apply this at night and I just wake up the just perfect like almost beach wave kind of style not really beach waves but like my hair has a little bit of a wave to it, it just feels very nice on my hair so I really should like look into buying the full size just because this is so nice and I always love it then I have some other makeup wipes that I used to like use these these used to be my ride or die like for years when I would use makeup wipes religiously when I was a teenager I love these and I love them now, but now I had simple ones and I love those better. But these are the clean and clear night relaxing ones and I did really like these. Um, I was really into them beginning again last like fall, but now I'm not really into them anymore. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna repurchase because I do like these, but I definitely really am loving the simple ones. So I probably won't repurchase if I do, I do, but I probably won't for a while, you know? So the next thing I used up is something I got, well, my mom got in her Sephora play box and she gave it to me. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. This really does erase pores. I don't really notice that I have too many pores or if I have pores or anything like that, but it was just such a nice powder to just put under my eyes and kind of put it around this area. And this actually didn't come pressed, so it was kind of loose and it was kind of annoying to use. I used it up really faster than typically would use up this kind of powder, even like a sample, just because like it was like shattering all over the place. It was terrible, but I I do wanna, I don't know if I'd repurchase this because just because I'm, I don't know. Like I'm not like huge on this and I don't really have to set my face now because I have dry skin. I set like this area just so everything blends smoothly. I don't really have to. This was nice to try, but I don't know if I'd actually buy it full size. Then I have a sheet mask. I've mentioned these before. This is from Corona and this is their hydrating mask and everything. I, we got these in like a fab fun like last year when we were subscribed to them. And I really like this mask. Don't I don't know if I'd actually buy full size, but it was so nice to use, so I have no complaints about it. Next is another face mask that I love, and this is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Quenching Thirst Mask. This is their overnight mask. Love this mask. I probably use this for like a year. This is the Lifesaver Wall in Accutane. I use this a lot in Accutane. My skin really drank it up, and it really just quenched my skin's thirst, hence I'm kind of talking about this product in kind of their claims. It really just my skin really loved this. It really drank it up. It really just, you know, acted like a plant and drank it. Oh my god, my skin loved this. My skin was so hydrated like the morning after using this since it is overnight. And I definitely would repurchase a full size. I think it would be great in the winter time. So when fall rolls around, maybe I'll get this again. But it was such a nice mask. I love it. And I only had a sample, so I need the full size. Like I said, I have another one of those BB Don't Blow It. So like I said, I really love it. Would need to look into buying full size so good then I used up a little sample of an eye cream I wish they gave it to you in a pot because 
the foil packets are kind of annoying. But this is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. This, I don't have like too puffy of eyes, do have like under eye circles and stuff like that. Not too bad with puffiness, but I did think this was very refreshing under my eyes. Don't know if I'd repurchase just because I don't really use eye creams. I know I should because I'm in my 20s, you know, better start later than ever. But I also am like, eh, should I? Maybe I'll get a drugstore one. I don't know, but this was nice either way. Okay, so next I used up the number four. I believe that this is their soothing or smoothing balm. Yes, I really like this. It really smoothed all my frizz because I do get a little bit of frizz, especially on the top of my head. Especially on the top of my head. I don't know why, but I do. And yeah, this is very nice. Probably wouldn't repurchase just because this is kind of like a birch box brand. Like I've never really seen this brand anywhere. But it was nice while I had it and maybe I will repurchase. Who knows? So next thing is also a full size I got from birch box. Very rare. But this is from the brand The Beauty Crop. This is their fabulous flocking lashes mascara. Awesome name. Some people might think you're swearing, but you know, it's cool and everything. And yeah, I really like this mascara. It has argan oil in it and jojoba oil. It's waterproof, which is great, which the first time using this, I thought it wasn't waterproof. So I put waterproof mascara over it. Then I realized it was waterproof and I was like, oh, that was unnecessary. And I just love this mascara. It has a great wand and everything. It just, it looks like that. And it's a great mascara. I honestly would repurchase. It's cruelty free. It's great. And I don't know why, but this actually has a longer shelf life. It actually lasts for 12 months. And so instead of the typical four to three to six. So yeah, I probably would repurchase. It was great mascara. I loved it throughout the summer. Yes, so good. Okay, so next I tried out a foundation. This is my holy grail foundation throughout this whole year from like basically from January to now. This is my favorite my favorite foundation. And this is the L'Oreal Pro Glow, great for dry skin. I love this for my dry skin. And I have in the shade 22 Creamy Natural. I've actually tried all their foundations in the like, in the infallible line. Like I've tried the Pro Matte, I've tried the Toe Cover, I've tried this, I've done first impressions on my actually all of them which is crazy and I love this one probably the best it's just so nice feels really nice looks very natural on your skin I would repurchase any day like seriously I really need to and I'm getting foundation on my hand so I'm about to put this product down but yes I would repurchase so next thing I used up is actually a soap and I never show these which is weird just because usually I throw them out before I show them but no this time I didn't this is the vanilla bean noel gentle foaming hand soap love Love, 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 love this. Love Vanilla Bean Noel. It's my favorite like holiday scent from Bath and Body Works. It's just such a nice scent. It smells like vanilla. It just smells like the holidays, which I love. So yes, when holiday season rolls around, you know I'm gonna be buying like 50 of these. Like, yes. Next, this is old and limited edition. This came in the Nikki Tutorials like palette. This is the purple Better Than The Sex, which you can't find unless you find somebody that's selling this individually because they got that collection. But I, this is just old and I never use it, so I decided to get rid of it. And I can't repurchase. Would I repurchase even if I could? No, I like the formula of this mascara, but purple mascaras, I just don't really get too much use out of. I like to play with it sometimes, but it just wasn't like that realistic, if you know what I mean. I used up some of the Tarte um, America Juicy Eye Brightener. I really like this. I think it is such an amazing product, really great under the eyes. I honestly would repurchase. I haven't yet, but I would just, I'm cheap when it comes to eye creams. But this one I feel like is actually like worth it, worth it. Then I used up my Cetaphil, which I actually repurchased a while back and I have two backups of them and I'm also using my CeraVe. So I'm pretty much good on facial cleanser for a while. I really do like Cetaphil. I think it's very gentle for your skin. It's honestly the cleanser I'm gonna stick with for a very long time, just because it's simple. You can get it at the drugstore. And also like, I don't wanna mess around my skincare. I want to keep my skin very clear and everything. So yeah, really do like this and I do think it is worth it. If you're looking for a good gentle cleanser, definitely go with Cetaphil. Get, you can get it at your drugstore. Can't go wrong. And yes, I'd repurchase when I run out of my all my cleansers. So next I use some other masks up. First one is a lip mask. Pretty sure I've talked about this before. Got it in Marshalls. This is the Rose Pucker Up Lip Mask and this is the, this is like the renewing one. I really like this. I just find it hydrates my lips. Loved it throughout acting. 
I don't really use these much, but when I want to like pamper myself, these are great and I would purchase something like this because these are amazing. These ones don't have like a slit so you can talk, but I don't really mind that. Like I just chill out for a little bit and enjoy just having some relaxing time. Then I used up a mask from Biobel and this is the hashtag I woke up like this mask and I love this mask. This one has wild rose and vitamin C in it. It's supposed to give you a natural glow and I love this brand. The only thing I hate is just that you can't really find these masks in store at Ulta. At least my Ulta's don't carry it. So it's always that thing I have to order online and I love these masks. Some people don't like them. I love a good old sheet mask and everything. Like I think it's just so nice. It's really just, you know, fun to play around with sheet masks and, you know, take selfies in them and like take Snapchats. Well, Snapchat's kind of dead because nobody likes Snapchat anymore, but take Instagram stories in it. It's fun to just play around with. And this one is probably my favorite I've ever tried. This is the second one I've tried. Definitely my favorite. I would definitely buy like a hundred of these if I was rich, but I'm not. So I guess I'll just buy one sometime when I shop on Ulta. Yeah, I loved this. Now we're getting down to the bottom bottom of this and I have two more products left. The first one is from Bumble and Bubble as well. This is the Bubble and Bubble BB Preda Powder Trez Invisible Dry Shampoo. This has French clay in it. Pink clay, I mean, and yes, for normal to oily hair. I personally hated the smell of this. It smells like, I don't even know what the smell is, but it's disgusting. I just can't. Like it just smells like weird and odorly. I don't know. It doesn't have a nice scent like some dry shampoos do. And I just didn't find this really did much for my hair. Like, yes, it was it was kind of weird to like rub in. I didn't personally like this one. Some people do like this, but for me, I just wouldn't repurchase and I just wasn't impressed. I definitely have other dry shampoos I love more. And then the last thing that I used up is the, is the Clinique Mascara and this is the Full Lash Power Mascara, I'm pretty sure it's called. It's the one that has the different powers for lashes and everything. It's the one that Karen from KK and Baby J loves. And if you haven't seen my little, I guess, episode about like, like my vlogger get the look series. I will link it up above. Karen was my first episode and I used that mascara in that video. So if you wanna see an action, just go over there. But yeah, it has a nice wand. You turn it to get it to go to the different powers and everything. And I really like this mascara. I probably would repurchase this not right away. I have so many mascaras on backup. So I'm on a no mascara, no buy, like no more buy mascaras, Katie. Like don't do it. And yeah, I really liked it. I would repurchase eventually, just not anytime soon. And there we have it. Those are all the products that I used up recently. These are all the products that I either loved, I hated. I honestly don't feel like I hated a lot of them. I actually said I liked a lot of them, but these are all the products that I've used up and I'm excited to just have gotten all these out. I'm about to throw them out and I can, you know, collect more products. And I love empties videos. If you like it too, please give them a thumbs up. Let me know down below any products you, you used up recently and also let me know any of you like to see next because you know it's summer i'm filming a lot it's gonna be a fun time and yeah please subscribe if you haven't already because i post videos every single week i'm gonna aim for either monday friday uploads or monday wednesday friday uploads here in this summertime summer 2018 yeah let's get going and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a great day night whatever you're watching this and i will see you in my next video bye